Today is June the 28th and we are at the Brazos County Extension Office on Highway 21 looking at the gardens. This is the Texas Superstar Garden and it's been really hot in the hundreds for at least the last two weeks. So these are plants that do really well here in Texas with the extreme heat and the really cold winters that we've been having. So a lot of extreme temperatures in both directions. Looks like the Texas Superstars include, this one is a, I don't know if you can read the label, but that is a Japanese boxwood. Looking pretty good. Looks like they have some irrigation, some drip irrigation going on. This is a Belinda's Dream Rose and well, it looks like it's flagging just a little bit, but you know, it's been really hot here in Texas, so you have to kind of just bear with the whole situation of the heat and how it's been affecting the plants. These are Texas superstars though, so they should do really well. Here is a Salvia Mystic Spire Blue. Uh, not a whole bunch really to, to look at right now, but hopefully it will do better. Here inside we have a nice, this is a nice, very low to the ground plant. Let me get around so we can see what that is. And let's see. What is this? This, all the markers are gone. Can't really see it, I'm not too sure. If you know what plant this is, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Of course, we have the um, the Rulia Katie. This is uh, a nice low border plant that grows really well here in Bryan College Station. So if you're in the Brazos Valley and you're looking for something to border your plants, this, this is a good one, actually. We have Juniper Parsons. It's looking okay, not too bad. This one, I'm not too sure how it does for uh, bagworms. I don't really see any on there, but it just could be that they've been doing a good job of keeping them away. But if you have any experience with this Juniper Parson, uh, let me know if it's prone to bagworms in the area. So that would be good to know. Japanese boxwoods. We're kind of circling around again. This one, this nice one here, it's kind of a bush, kind of a mid-sized bush, and it looks like it is Walter's Viburnum. Oh, that's pretty good because I didn't think that uh, very many Viburnums do well here in this Texas humidity and heat. Here is the sign. This is the Texas Superstar Garden, so. Let's take a look. These look a little, a little heat, um, like they've been beat up by the heat a little bit, but uh, definitely one that I use in my garden. I'll show that in another video coming up. Here's some more salvia. This is the rebel child, pardon the sun. This is salvia rebel child. And also doesn't look well, doesn't look like there's a lot going on with it right now, but maybe this just isn't the time for it. Over here we have what is a nice plant, but I don't see any blooms on it. There's one that's barely popping up, just might not be the time for it. And this is the Hibiscus Texas Star Red. All right, here's another Hibiscus with a nice little bloom on it. Just one, just one bloom, probably because it's so hot. This is the hibiscus uh, Mali Grande, Ma, Muy Grande, hibiscus Muy Grande. Very big, very big hibiscus. You can see in the center here that I'm sure the winter really kind of froze this back down to the ground and they cut it and, and the shoots have been coming back up. So the roots survived and are trying to reestablish the plant. Coming up over here, this one looks really great. So this may be a very good plant for um, 
for these extremes that we've been having here in Texas. I believe this is a firecracker plant. Not too sure. I don't see the label anywhere on it, but that's what it appears to be. Of course, in this area, Plumbago always does well. So if you want something that's low maintenance and provides some nice flowers here, uh, most of the summer here in Texas, this is a Cape Plumbago. Plum Plumbago. There we go. I had a hard time getting that out. There we go. So let's see what else we have here. Larkspur. Don't see much of it. There's a tag for it, but I don't see much. This one, eh, it looks like the bush itself is kind of scraggly. May have been because of all the extreme weather we've been having here in Texas, but lots of suckers coming out of the bottom. Can you see that? I don't know if you can read the label, but that is a possum hall. And it usually does pretty well here. It gives you nice berries that you can use for decoration, especially during the uh, winter holidays. Over here we have one that really does well here in Texas, especially in the Brazos Valley. This is Esperanza. Definitely a Texas superstar. I heard people make tea with the leaves. I've never had it myself, but that's what I hear. And this nice little one, nice and green, mid-size, and say probably about three feet tall, two and a half feet tall. Uh, can't really read the label. It's kind of uh, sun bleached. So if you know what it is, feel free to let me know. In the comments below, I want to say it's a bird of paradise, but not really 100% certain. All right, let's go back in this direction. And we will take a look at more in the other parts of the gardens here. And I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to do a shot from a distance so that you can see the Texas Superstar Garden. And then in another video, We'll go ahead and post some of the other gardens and we will definitely take a look and see what you think. Anyway, so drip irrigation, very important here in Texas because uh, you want to water the ground, not the leaf. We're too humid here and it just, it promotes um, fungus and all kinds of uh, d disease basically. And, it's just better if you do ground irrigation here in Texas. All right. We actually are shaded. This part of the garden is pretty shaded. I'll show you what I mean. There's some nice big uh, oak trees here. Or not too, too big, but enough shade. Let's put it that way. You can see in the parking lot or in the background, there's lots of sun. The sun is actually going down, so we're not getting the full blast of the sun, but still very hot. All right, so I'm gonna end this here. If you could please click the like button, subscribe, and we will definitely post more videos. I'm gonna try my best to do one a week. No guarantee, but I would try my best. And um, if you know of a place that I should go and take pictures of the gardens, that are in the Brazos Valley, please let me know and I will definitely do my best to make a trip out there and get as much footage of the air gardens as possible. Thanks again.